So the San Francisco Giants have signed a couple of infielders and they're going to be in spring training to compete for a spot on the 2020 roster. One of them is the 2019 Gold Glove Award winning second baseman Yolmer Sanchez. And the other, uh, what was his name? I've never really heard of him. Is it Pablo some Pablo um, Sandoval. The one one pick. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Hum Baby Baseball Channel. And today, we're talking about the Giants, and they have made a couple of more signings. By the way, Dusty Baker has been officially named the manager of the Astros. I just made a video a couple days ago, maybe yesterday. Check that one out if you want to see my thoughts on the Dusty Baker hiring. Congratulations to him, and hopefully the Astros can get through this craziness that they've got going on right now with the big cheating scandal. They need to get through that, and Dusty Baker might be the guy they need to be the skipper over there in Houston. But today, we're talking about the Giants, and they have signed a couple of guys. One of them is the Panda. Kung Fu Panda is a back he'll be back at least in spring training it's a minor league deal for panda and they're also bringing former chicago white Sox second baseman and he's been their starting second baseman for a while and that's yolmer sanchez sanchez used to go by carlos sanchez but he is 27 years of age so pretty young coming off of a gold glove year he indeed was the gold glove winner at second base in 2019 so he obviously has elite defense his defense is sick but unfortunately, he's not so great at the plate. He had a two wins above replacement in 2019, and both of those wins probably came pretty much from his defense throughout the year. In 646 career games spanning six seasons, he's got a line of 244 batting average, not much, 299 on base, not very good at all, 357 slugging, not much power. In fact, he just hit two home runs in 2019 and nearly 500 at bats. This is a guy that turned down a lot of teams. Reportedly, Ken Rosenthal put out a tweet that said that this guy turned down offers, big league offers from other teams because he wanted to compete for a starting job on a major league team. And that leaves me scratching my head. First of all, I thought the Giants had Mauricio Dubon, who was pretty much the guy, not to mention they just re-signed Panda. But anyway, I'm going to get to that. But you got Mauricio Dubon. Really? You're going to actually consider putting Sanchez, who has a you know six-year career, clearly a gigantic sample size. We know what he is. Great defender, slightly below average hitter with not much power. We know what he is. Come on. You're going to think about putting him as the starter over Dubon? What's he going to do in spring training? What's Sanchez going to do in spring training to prove himself? Make a bunch of sparkling plays? We know he can do that. He's going to hit around 250. If he has a great spring training, maybe he hits 300, but he's not going to maintain that throughout the season. So what's the thought process here? Dubon is electric. Dubon has got pop. We're talking about a guy who hit 24 home runs in 2019 between AAA and the big leagues. But when he came up to the big leagues with the Giants, he still did pretty damn well. He looked great. Maybe not, you know, he's not, I'm not saying he's a superstar, but damn. And I went to baseball reference just to compare these two guys and their average 162 game season, what you would expect from them in a 162 game season based on what they've done so far in the big leagues. And remember, Dubon was a green rookie in 2019. He should be even better in 2020, but this is just based on what they've done. If they played a whole season, you got Dubon hitting you 22 bombs, 274 average, 306 on base. You can look at the rest of the stats. 95 OPS plus. Those are the big ones I'm looking at. But Dubon pretty much is better across the board. And then you got Sanchez with his eight home runs. And that's if he has a big season home run wise. He hit two last year. 244 average, 299 on base, 80 OPS plus. The Giants need someone who can swing that bat. The Giants' biggest flaw is is that they can't hit. They don't have much power. They don't have much excitement when it comes to swinging the bat. Giants have had great defense for a while. As far as I know, we're going to still have Crawford over there at short. Dubon is fine. He's good enough there at second base. As far as I'm concerned, this is a this is not even an option right here. And I would have never told uh, Sanchez, I would have never said, hey man, sign with us. You got a chance to make the big league team as a starter. I would have never said that. I would have said, look, if you want to sign with us on a minor league deal, which is what it is, and come to camp, We'd love to have you, but you know, if you got 
major league offers from other teams, you might want to go ahead and take those. He says, oh, but I want to be a starter. I was like, well, we got a guy right near Mauricio Dubon, and unless he gets injured or something, you know, that's our guy right there. So uh, I don't know if we're the best choice. That's how I feel about it. Unless maybe there's a plan. Maybe they want to move away from Crawford, but why? Crawford hits better than this guy. I mean, I just don't understand it. And Crawford's a gold glove shortstop. So I don't get the sign. I don't get the Yul Mare thing. Someone tell me what's going on with that in the comments. Explain to me what the freak, and I'll do respect to this guy's gold glove winner, and I'll do respect the Giants got Dubon, and he's the guy I want there. That's just how I feel about it. Let's move on to the next topic, which is the Panda is back. Pablo Sandoval has signed a minor league deal with the Giants, and if he makes the team, he can make about two million bucks to be, I assume, going to be a role player. This guy's not someone who's going to start every day. Remember last season, he came out the gates hot. His season ended early. He had to have Tommy John. But in that first half, he crushed 11 bombs. The guy was just on fire. He was coming through in the clutch. He was driving in runs. It was exciting. And that was before the Giants found guys like Alex Dickerson and Mike Estrimsky and figured out who they could actually play. Giants were going through their experimental phase. They were bringing in one guy, trying him out. Nope, no good. Gerber, send him back. Next, Mac Williamson comes in. Try him out. Nope, next. You know, they had Connor Joe. Nope, next. You know, they had Michael Reed. Nope, next. They kept on going through guys and guys and guys until finally they said, we found our guys. During that first half, though, it was Pablo who was keeping the energy up with the Giants. I'm not saying he's going to do it again, but let's be real. 2020 is not going to be a year for the Giants where they're probably going to make any kind of a push. I mean, it would be really miraculous if they do, but I highly doubt the Giants are going to be thinking playoffs in 2020. It's more of a rebuild type thing. And, uh, you know, you're bringing back Pablo to camp. Why not? It's a minor league deal. He doesn't have to make the team if he comes to camp and he's, you know, 300 pounds and he's terrible. Then, you know, he doesn't make the team. But at least we're going to get to see the Panda in a big league uniform in spring training. You know, at least that. I mean, it's going to be fun. It's going to be cool. You know, I mean, come on. Yeah, it's, is it a big signing? Is it helping the Giants? Are we going over the top? Hell no. But we ain't got much to be happy about or look forward to. I mean, this is a guy who, again, he's not competing for a starting job like the Sanchez deal. If Sanchez was coming into camp and they were like, oh, he's just here on a minor league deal, I'd have said fine. But the thing that throws me is he's coming here to compete for a starting job and he had other big league offers. That's where I got like, what? That didn't make any sense to me. But as far as Pablo, he's coming in to just be there and possibly be a backup, a role guy. He could start at third, give Longoria a day off. He could start at second, give a day. He could start at first, give a day off to uh, Posey or uh, Belt or whatever. You know, work that they work it out. They work this thing out, okay? And uh, we got this going on. So we're going to see the Kung Fu Panda back in action. That's going to be really cool and something to look forward to. Let me know what you guys think below. It's a not a big, big deal signing type thing that's going to, you know, make the Giants a whole bunch better, but it does make a more for a more exciting spring training and maybe for a more exciting 2020. Gives the Giants fans something to look forward to and something to be happy about, something to talk about because there haven't been much of that lately. So let me know what you think below. Thanks, guys, so much for joining me. Talking about Yolmer Sanchez. He is coming to the Giants. Talking about Pablo Sandoval is going to be in camp with the Giants. Looking forward to spring training in 2020. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. I got to go. So I'm going to talk to you guys next time. See ya. When the Giants come to town, it's bye-bye, baby. Every time the Making at Oracle Park.